Fran Higgins, and my TEDx topic is the representation of women in rap music. So first, when I heard the theme of this year's TEDx, which is breaking barriers, I thought about what it meant for me. Personally, what it meant was differentiating stereotypes, standing out, but also looking at it from another perspective, I thought about what it means to call out something, a change that is needed, or a subject that should be brought up. Now, I love music. You can ask all of my teachers when I'm in the hallway, I'm listening to music, even that being just for five seconds. I used to listen to it on my mini iPod, but also in the car. What music did for me was it always kept me subconsciously active, but it also helped to change my mood or also enhance my focus. But I've, re I've recently noticed a similarity between a lot of the music we listen to today, and that is the rising popularity of cuss words in songs. As a little bit of history, lyrics originated around the mid-16th century and protest music around the 18th century. From this point on, we can assume that the general expectation for music became more and more flexible towards expressing aggression. So, from here, musical genres such as hip-hop and rap music came to life. Now, from the beginning, these genres were created with the purpose of a confidence boost but also when street dancing or even rap battles or diss tracks. Fast forward to the 20th century, and it is anything but uncommon for popular rap music to be filled with cuss words. And don't get me wrong, it isn't the issue, it's not about the amount of cuss words that is the issue with music today, but it's more about how the meaning of it can have a severe impact on society, but also how we've taken those words and repurposed it to empower ourselves. Believe it or not, the music we listen to today can severely influence us, whether that be through our mood, attitudes, beliefs, values, or personality. And yes, a big part of this is through the melodic manipulation of music, but also heavily due to the information and the lyrics that we consume through our music. And combining this with the lyrics, um, music can be, have a severe impact on society. The process of a natural word for a female taking on a negative, often sexual meaning is a pattern found throughout language and is a phenomenon called pejoration. According to medium.com, 90% of slang terms recorded for women can describe them as an object, prostitute, dumb, or even evil, opposed to slang terms created for men, which only 46% are all negatives. Now this is where music gets complicated. Just because an artist says something that we don't agree with or don't feel comfortable with, does that mean that the perception of the artist has to change? Well, there have been many cases of this in recent music, and that can be seen through controversial artists such as Kanye West, Lil Nas X, or Doja Cat. In eighth grade, I started listening to Tyler, the Creator. Tyler, the Creator has created a profound name for himself through his collaboration with luxury brand Louis Vuitton, while also his own creation of his own clothing brand, Golf. And why is he in my TEDx? Well, Tyler the Creator has created a lot of controversial music. And that's because through his lyrics. And he's not uh, considered, publicly considered, a controversial artist because even in this generation of wokeism and the universal access to the internet, Tyler the Creator's music took a turn when he stopped using musical platform SoundCloud. See, before he came to fame, Tyler the Creator would upload his records onto SoundCloud, which only SoundCloud users could listen to. So many of these songs that he would put on SoundCloud expressed a lot of aggression towards women. And even though I adore Tyler through listening to those unreleased songs, it made me question his intention with music. And my main point isn't the issue with self-expression, but how women have repurposed those words to empower themselves. So an example of this is through female, is through female artist Doja Cat. Um, with Doji Cat, we can see her positively used derogatory terms um, to express empowerment. And this can be seen through her most recent song, Paint the Town Red, in which Doji Cat takes the commonly used derogatory terms, such as the B word, to utilize um, the empowerment and the way that we can rebuild our musical expectation for society. Now, this idea that we can take any derogatory term and through ownership um, and the meaning and the purpose, music can be as comforting as it is today. Personally, when I'm listening to rap music that has or contains the B word, I like to say that word because it makes me feel empowered. 
And I would like you also to take a moment to think about how it makes you feel. So by steering clear of amplifying negative issues towards women or rebuilding the general musical expectation for music as a society, we can learn how to appreciate music and correct our musical expectations and therefore hope for a friendlier future with music. Thank you. <laughs>